Hey, this is Manny with Not Waiting to Live, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to raise and level a front porch like this just using some basic supplies uh, that you can get from Home Depot, uh, a car jack, and do it yourself within a couple hours. What you see here is a neighbor uh, to one of my rental properties has been having trouble with this corner of his front porch sinking over the years. The last time he leveled this out was 25 years ago. This is a hundred year old home. The deck is being supported by kind of a hodgepodge of timber of different sizes. At, at some point he had put a, a brick facade uh, around the front of the porch, but the porch is now pinching that, that underskirt on that sinking corner. The other corner is good. It's well supported. The spacing remains the same. The main support for the sinking side of the front porch is shown here. The other pieces of lumber are actually not making contact with the ground on this side of the porch. So this six by six pressure treated piece of lumber that was put in a couple decades ago and whoever put it in a couple decades ago did take the time to pour a little bit of a concrete footer for support that is nice and level, but it being the only support has settled about an inch and a half over that uh, amount of time. The solution in this case is to create a parallel support column right next to the sinking support column and then use a jack to raise the porch as needed. In this case I needed about an inch and a half and most jacks only will extend a, a couple inches so you have to build this parallel support column to really move the jack up to the porch level so uh, here I cleared out the area next to the sinking column got down to where the point where I was scratching some clay I put down a 12 inch by 12 inch square uh, paver block it's about an inch and a half deep just made sure it was level that was just for a foundation so I could stack some a concrete block just these uh, half concrete block uh, cubes this is eight inch by eight inch by eight inch those blocks are a dollar fifty a piece uh, the, the paver block uh, might have been two dollars but this just gives me a foundation to put the jack on top on top of and then I raised the porch from there a jack you may or may not be surprised you, most people know somebody who has one and if you ask around a few people they'll either have one themselves or they can let you know who might have one because they're pretty common for cars or trucks or vans um, this is the jack that came with my Ford Transit van and it's a four ton jack uh, that should be sufficient for most front porches uh, many people you'll see they'll have jacks with an even higher rating but uh, for me to raise, like you can see in this picture, to raise the uh, front porch an inch and a half took almost no effort. The jack does all the work. I was fortunate that the adjustment that I needed to make was a convenient size. I was able to use another paver block to just put in on top of the footer that was already there. It was an inch and a half, fit great rarely works out that way so you will have to shim the support with whatever you have usually a piece of wood that's cut to size or just fits maybe sometimes a brick but you will have to shim that support to make the porch level so that when you take the jack out it settles where you want it to settle to once you have shimmed the sinking support column removing the jack is simple enough then you repeat the process as many times as you need to. If you have found this video helpful, please take the time to like the video, comment if you can, subscribe if you'd like. This is the only way that the YouTube algorithm picks up my content and gives my channel some more exposure. If uh, you have any questions or if you'd like to see more content like this, simply reach out. You can email me at manny at notwaitingtolive.com. And otherwise, good luck on your next DIY project.